Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. I wanted to extend our picture of Kden Live just a bit further and help you make your own custom effects. Sound good? Let's do that. Okay, so once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. I've done a whole lot of work on Caden Live videos, so go check out that card over there and get familiar with what's out there and what it can do. I want to just expand our horizons just a bit with what goes on in Caden Live. Right now, I am on version latest one. Uh, 21.08.1 all right as of this moment in time that is the latest release available with the fixes and such so somebody asked me how to do a certain kind of effect and we'll get to that i wanted to kind of build a basis of how we start to customize uh, our own preferential effects so i took a poke around and i found that you can actually build combinations of effects and then save them. Um, you can't save the uh, the keyframe uh, add that you add to those things, but you can save the sequence and stack of effects, and I'll show you how. So let me just grab a few effects just for initial demo here. I'm going to grab a saturation effect. No particular... Uh, no particular uh, idea in mind, but going to set a keyframe there. We're going to make lots of saturation just so there's some kind of change and you can kind of see that it's doing something. Next thing I'm going to do is add in old film. All right, enough for the uh, basic purposes. So from here, if I wanted to continue to use this arrangement and the stack works as a stack, meaning the order is important. It'll process them in order and sometimes that changes how the effects layer with each other. So if you're happy, let's just say with these two things, all you have to do is come up here to the top and save effect stack. And you give it a name and save it. And then it becomes available. You do have to remember what you save it as because I found that it will save it under this custom breakdown but I can't find custom if I don't search for it, which is kind of a weird thing. Uh, if I back off here, and even if I collapse all the different sections here, you can see how there's, there's no custom. So I'm not sure why that is, but you do have to remember the name. The name is important. So I'm using PL, Photo Learningism, as kind of my punch phrase so I can find things easy and here it is, that's PL test, that's what I just made. So now what I can do is I can trash these or if I wanted to go start another project and I know I'm gonna re reuse that sequence often, it was something it took a lot of work to discover and refine, then yeah, I can just grab that effect stack and drag it in and now I have that ready to go. I did this with a similar uh, idea, which I'll make another video on, I'll explain it in more detail, but I really wanted to make uh, kind of a zoom twist blur effect and that is here and that involved a lot of different pieces and things and I didn't want to lose the discovery of what it took to make those so I saved the effects stack and I'll walk through a bit more about how that actually shakes out but this is really cool you can make your own custom combinations and they stay with you yeah, go, the key is that you have to remember the name because there doesn't seem to be a way I can find right now to do that other than that by searching for them in the top bar here so I know this is quick and easy, but it's super powerful because it gives you this option to save your work and reuse it. It makes it a reusable element within Kden Live and makes the tool that much more valuable in my eyes. So give it a try. Leave in the comments your discoveries uh, if I've missed anything vital about that and share your experience with the community of learners. So once again, I'm Nate. This has been Photo Learningism. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and helped you get started in your storytelling endeavors. Subscribe if you haven't done that already, and I will see you at the next video. Take care.